It is going to be hot this weekend. I'm not complaining about that, but my air conditioner may be. So how is that extreme heat going to affect our AC units? Gary's here to tell us. Does it, I mean, it does affect, well, they're running all the time. Yeah, your air conditioners. So when you get to 90 degrees, it's going to run nonstop pretty much. Um, they're designed to maintain 20 degrees below mm -hmm. with the temperature outside. So if it's 90 outside, you're trying to maintain 70 indoors, that they're gonna run nonstop and they're not gonna shut off. Um, and as you go over that 20 degree separation there, you can expect on your thermostat to see that creep up a little bit, especially in the, the hot parts of the day. Uh, that will creep up, especially if you have windows that face the southwest. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have a lot of heat gain, you know, coming through there, the green kind of greenhouse effect. Sure, sure. Um, you know, my house, the entire west side is, is, you know, windows, a lot of it. Sun comes in, my thermostat in the, in the afternoons and evening. There it creep, goes. Creeps right up. <laughs> um, so, you know, things that you can check, you know, you know, is it running? Yeah. Is there cool air? My register's open, open and is there cool air coming out of them? Yes. You know, if it's doing those things, it's probably just fine and you know it's really hot outside and it's going to have a hard time keeping up. So are there some things that we can do to help it out a little bit? Well yeah if you have you know shades or blinds or whatever uh, you can close those down you know you want to make sure all your windows are shut. Believe it or not there's people that like to run their air conditioner with and, their, with, and leave their windows and open? Their, and leave their windows open but that's... My uh, husband would have a heart attack. Yeah <laughs> right <laughs> but you need to make sure they're all closed. Um, Close your windows, you know, change your filter in mm. your in your furnace, you know, or your your air handler to make sure that's clean and it can move the most air as possible. Have regular maintenance done on your equipment to make sure before it gets to this point or even, you know, after it gets to this point, make sure you have that scheduled to get it cleaned out, taken care of, refrigerant charge checked, all the electrical components checked and taken care of. It seems like this is a good time um, when it's those hot days, like Saturday. Um, I, we were already thinking ahead about tomorrow night. Let's grill out so mm -hmm. that we don't have to have the oven on because right. the oven, the dishwasher, the dryer, you know, the clothes dryer, those are all things that produce some heat anyway. Right. Uh, you don't think of it very much. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just something that you normally do. Start the dishwasher. They create a large amount of heat. Your, your oven, you know, if you're going to be using your oven, especially in the hottest part of the day, um, that's going to add heat to your house and it's going to drive the temperature in your house up. So um, That's what I, I tend to, like in the winter when I have the oven on, after I turn it off, I leave the door open. So sometimes, Let the heat yeah, out of it. I don't know if that's safe or not, but that's what I do. <laughs> I, yeah. um, if we have, an, you know, we turn the air on, something doesn't work this weekend, mm -hmm. um, we, we shouldn't get in there and start messing with it ourselves, right? Well, it's, <laughs> it's not safe, probably. It's usually not a good idea. One, you know, just things that you can check. Uh, like I said, it, is it on? Is there air coming mm -hmm. out of the vents? If there's not any air coming out of the vents, um, you know, have you changed your filter lately? You know, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I just did that six months ago. Last or, year. Or last year, or, you know, that type of thing. Um, or go outside and make sure the outdoor unit's running. And if it is, you know, you can check your breakers in there, see if it, maybe it's just a trip breaker, but usually the best thing you do is to call and have a service technician look at it. Yes, so. don't go putting your hands in places. Don't they go putting your be, hands no. in places. That's when you call 490-5100. Do not touch things. So make sure that that AC is on this weekend. We want to enjoy the weekend and not just be burning up. Give home comfort experts a call. We'll be right back.